Welcome back to John's Films, where I've previously used my one wheel or my longboard to shoot some pretty cool stabilized footage. Acts just like a dolly, it's magical. However, I learned a hard lesson in breaking my wrist on the one wheel and realizing I need to carry a whole bunch of personal protective equipment so that I don't go through surgery again. As that made filming much more difficult, I left the one wheel and longboard out of my camera bag going forward. That's why when Atami reached out and wanted me to try out their Alpha scooter, I thought stability and handles might be the solution to my issue. Spoiler alert, it doesn't help with video, but it gave me something I didn't expect. To start, let's take a look at some of the features that set it apart. For one, it's easily transportable in that it folds up. And that sound is very satisfying. It also has turn signals. And those turn signals activate blinkers down at the bottom. It further has a convenience lock, which allows you to lock it to maybe a patio table or something outside your favorite coffee shop. And here you can see the headlight and LEDs that adorn the front, in addition to those that adorn the bottom. Second only to a helmet, this is a critical feature for safety. The tubeless tires offer a safe, compliant ride. And the first thing I did in the app on the left you can see when I got the scooter was turn on cruise control, which has to be my favorite feature. Overall, it's an attractive, comfortable scooter to ride, and I do feel more secure on it than I do on my other electric devices. Because of that, I've been willing to take my camera with me more places than I would on the other rides. With that, I've been able to get shots like this that I just wouldn't have otherwise, and that's been a big surprise for me. When I have a camera on me, I'll shoot with it, and I love taking this thing out, just bumming around the neighborhood to see what I can find. On the negative side of the coin, the kickstand doesn't quite fit once you add the rubber extension. Another nitpick, with the suspension and the handlebars, it feels really solid. And the top speed of 19 miles an hour is quick, but I could probably go for 10 more miles an hour. That said, if you know the capabilities, this would be a great scooter to purchase. I think it's quality. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.